How you doing, Mr. DJ? Back on the countdown, countdown another fancy playlist for my 80s and uh, 90s YouTube channel. Fancy playlist of July the 30th, 1989, right here. Look at all these top 40 extras right here, and a lot of ads too as well. Boy, there's a lot of songs to cover. I'd like to get get to quite a few of those top 40 extras as I go along the countdown of this fancy playlist. But let's start with number 40. Nine debuts on this fancy playlist. Eight or nine debu debuts. Nine debuts on this fancy playlist. The first one, Lost 45. A lot of people thought this band was a one-hit wonder. No, not at all. Katrina and the Waves, that's the way. A fine pop record they put out back in the summer of 1989. MTV ran the video, too. Hot rotation, if I remember correctly. But uh, didn't do as well as their monster hit, Walking on Sunshine, back in 1985. That's the way made top 20, though, for them here in the States. Didn't do quite as well in England, though. Only got as high as number... God, I forgot the chart position around number 82, maybe. But it didn't make top 40 in the U.K. But... Uh, they did have one that was a monster in the UK later on in the 90s. I'll get into that in just a minute. Katrina and the Waves, the broad brush, the broad brush look, just just breaking it down to the brass tacks. Uh, uh, Katrina Leskovich, I believe is how you pronounce her name, Leskovich. I just looked it up on YouTube, the pronunciation of her last name. Katrina Leskovich. <laughs> I think I'm trying to convince myself more than I'm trying to convince you that I can pronounce her last name. Well, she's from America. This is a British-American combo. Uh, combo, And uh, Katrina, Katrina, I'll just call her Katrina, she's from America. She's from Kansas. But her family moved to England when she was 16 years old. A couple of years later, 1978, she was in a cover band called Mama's Cooking. Mama's cooking by the early 80s evolved into Katrina and the ways when a couple of guys joined the band. Alex Cooper, a drummer, and a guy named Kimberly Rue. Kimberly Rue, a songwriter. He would become the chief songwriter of Katrina and the Waves. Now, the Waves, this part came from Kimberly Rue and Alex Cooper. They were in a band called the Waves back in the 70s. And then Kimberly Rue, he was in a band, he was what he played with Robin Hitchcock. Remember Robin Hitchcock? Well, it was later Robin Hitchcock and Robin Hitchcock and the Egyptians, but in the late 70s and early 80s, it was Robin Hitchcock and the Soft Boys. Kimberly Brew played in that band until 1981 and then hooked up with Katrina. And uh, now, now Mama's cooking. It was Katrina Leskovich and her boyfriend, also an American, I believe, Fence, I forgot, Fence De La Cruz. That was his name, Fence De La Cruz. Well, it was Katrina and the Waste. Kimberly Rue wrote one of my favorite songs out of the 80s. He wrote a song, Kimberly Rue, chief songwriter of Katrina and the Waste. He wrote Going Down to Liverpool. It was I, I remember watching the Bengals version on Night Tracks in 1984 and just fell in love with the record. They, the Bengals, well, here's the deal. Katrina and the Waves, they did the original version of Going Down to Liverpool, and their version was a good one. I listened to their version on YouTube the other night, and I thought, this is pretty rad. But the Bengals, their harmonies, ethereal, astral, just, it just, it just gave it sort of a uh, cosmic sort of sound going down to Liverpool by the Bengals, but the bottom line is Kimberly Rue wrote that song. I was like, dead gumming, boy. Isn't that lovely? Well, Walking on Sunshine, that was their big hit. Top 10 in the U.S., top 10 in the U.K. And the album, their fifth album, that's the way it was from the album called Break of Hearts. Break of Hearts did not do well on the album charts here in the States. Went to number went to number 122 on the top 200 album charts here in the States. And that's the way. That was their last that was it. That was our last top 40 here in the States. But boy, they made a rousing comeback in England. They could uh, they contributed a song to the Eurovision Song Contest. It was called Love Shine a Light. Katrina and the Waves did Love Shine a, Wa Shine a Light. It was their UK entry in the Eurovision Song Contest in 1997, and they won it. And the song went to number three in England. Love, shine a light. No impact here in the States whatsoever. 
and uh, it impacted. It was a hit all over Europe. Top ten in Belgium, Ireland, Finland, Scotland, Sweden, and then they broke up a couple of years later. So here we are, debuting at number 40 on my fancy playlist of July 30th, 1989. Welcome aboard as we revisit the summer of 1989. Katrina and the Ways. Maybe this will bring back some memories for you. That's the way on my fancy playlist back in 1989.